might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation? This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? It's real. I got it from an ex-Institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-Institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, It'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah, ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption, at least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building side and see if we can actually make this thing work. Yes. Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Getting cold feet? I don't blame you. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. are often misinterpreted by those above ground. 
Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Only opens with a key. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father, father, help me. There's someone here, help me. Damn it. Sean. Open the door. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenge. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. You, right here, right now. Yes, yes you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. I want answers, asshole. Now! Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. Bullshit! Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now it's Lita. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. 
but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But... Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence will be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Doc, Most of them have lasted they weren't long kidding. past their projected You really lifespans. are here. Well, all right. Me, I'm Allie. They were built pretty Allie well. Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? 
I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll end. As you might guess, we, uh -huh. we maintain enough. Uh -huh. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls. The work we do might not be as so. Now that you're here and you spoke. Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye then. I can't. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father... Problems here. Good to hear. Now, father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Mm -hmm. Our primary responsibility is the... I'm sure it's best for everyone if the Synths remain here. Certainly. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is... Uh -huh. Coursers hunt down. They are highly self-sufficient. But I gather you know all this. In fact... I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. <sighs> I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. <sighs> As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. <laughs> ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay. Thank you. I'm sure that will come in handy. Given that, the, in case the significant, if nothing else, it should. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need. To uh -huh. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Excuse me, Doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here, Doctor Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the... To that end, we've even started to... You probably saw the... Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work, I'm sure I've taken up... I doubt it. I just don't think I'd fit in. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind, redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. 
He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Oh, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Whatever they're aging in Retro here, I think it's gone too long. Nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron. How are you going to test it? On myself, of course. That was the plan. This serum will only counteract the specific strain of FEV that I infected myself with. There's no telling what it might do to anyone else. All right. Here we go. Ah. Uh. No. We wait. It'll work. Don't worry. I hope so. We just have to let the retrovirus run its course. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is a qualified success? There were some side effects to the process. I seem to have hair again, and I've retained some muscle mass. The genetic resequencer needs more work. Still, I take your point. This is a significant advance, but only for one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk, if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. <laughs>